Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we wanted to guide you step by step on how to make a daily planner with Notion. So let's get started. First, open an empty Notion page and let's title this Daily Planner. And let's go ahead and add a cover photo by clicking Add Cover and Change Cover. And then we're going to go ahead and go to Unsplash, which is a place where you can get a huge library of stock images. And we're going to go with something that's calm. And let's click this picture. And we're going to skip an icon for this template so it looks cleaner. And then we're just going to get started. So in this daily planner, we're going to have one central database, which is going to hold all of your daily planning entries. So let's type slash table and then click table view for a table view database plus new database. And we're going to title this daily planner entries. And let's go ahead and delete these rows because they're default rows that come with the table view database. And you can actually just highlight them and then press delete. And then you can delete them all at once. And now let's delete this tags property because we won't be using it. And instead, let's go ahead and add a date property because date is important for daily planning. So now we have a name and we have a date. So that's all we really need for this database. So next, what we're going to do is go to this arrow here so that we can add a new template for daily planner entries. And what this template is going to do is that it's going to duplicate every time you add a new daily planner entry so that you don't have to fill in the same information over and over again. So if we click plus new template and then we title this daily planner entry and let's actually open it in full page so we can see it better. And now we can even add a cover photo. And let's add the same cover photo we did in the beginning. So we go on splash and then type calm. And we go to this photo. And for this, let's add an icon. Choose map pin. And now we can get started with organizing what we're going to put in the daily planner entry. So for this, we're going to have two columns. So let's type slash column and two columns and we're going to have our daily plan on the left side and then we're going to have our priorities of the day on the right side along with a to-do list. And it's a good idea to draft it out like this because it's easy to lose sight of your columns. And now let's work on the daily plan. So we're going to click the six dots here and then turn into heading three. And then you can press enter slash divider so we can add a divider here and then let's add a symbol table so for that you're going to type slash table table and now you'll see two columns like this which is all we need and on the left side we're going to have the hours and then on the right side you can write what you're going to do in each hour of course everyone plans differently so if you want to do it your own way you can but we're just going to go ahead and fill in the hours here now So now you have all the hours on the left side. And then if when you're using this, you would write things like wake up, go for a run, and so on. So you could plan your day on the right side of this. So let's adjust the columns here by moving the middle a bit to the left. And then we're going to move the right side to the right. So you have more space to write. So now let's work on this priorities of the day. And you're going to click the six dots over here and then click turn into heading three and then enter slash divider. And then let's make bullet points. And for that, you can just type dash and it's going to automatically make bullet points. So dash space. And then if you want to duplicate this many times, you can press command or control D. Like so. And then now let's add the to do list. So we're going to do the same. Turn into heading three and then slash divider. And then we're going to add checkboxes. So you can do slash to do. 
or slash checkbox and then we're going to do command or control D to add the to-do list. So now we have the basics of our daily planner entry and we can go ahead and go back and it should get saved. And now let's actually set this as our default template so that every time you click a new one, it's going to set that as the default. So now let's say we click new here. We're going to automatically get the daily entry and then we could open it up and we'll see our daily planner entry like this. So this is already great, but let's save time even more by adding two buttons. So first we're going to add a button under this daily planner so that we can add a new daily planner entry just by clicking the button and it's going to also automatically open in full page. So let's click slash and then button slash button and then we're going to select an icon and for this let's go with something that's plus and document plus and we're going to call this new daily plan and we're going to add a step which is going to be to add a page to this daily planner entries database and Let's name it daily planner entry whenever it opens. And we're going to add another step, which is to open the page into the new page added. And then it's going to open up in full page. So now click done. And now let's test the button. So we're going to click new daily plan. And we will get a daily planner entry with the template like this. So that's great. So now let's just add a date so we can keep adding to this. And if we go back now, now wouldn't it be nice if you could go directly back to this page also with a button. So let's actually edit this template here and add a button in there. So edit this template, edit, and we're going to add a button up here. So for that, we're going to click this plus button. We're going to move this block up here and then type slash button. And let's choose an icon, which is a house. So we can go to the home and we're going to call this back to daily planner. And the step when the button is clicked is going to be to open page. And we want to open the page called daily planner which is this one and we want to open this in full page and then we click done so now let's see what happens so we're going to click new daily plan and the entry is loaded and let's say we fill everything in and then we're going to click back to daily planner and then we're back to this page so this works very seamlessly and it saves a lot of time going back and forth with the back buttons and finally, the last thing we should do is to make sure these are ordered correctly. So let's go to the sort here and we are going to sort it by date. And let's choose descending so we see the newest on top, say for everyone. So this way you can see very easily what the latest daily planner entry was. And at the same time, you can add a new daily plan here without having to click all the way down here. So if you had a lot of entries, this saves a lot of time. And actually, the final thing we should do is to hide this database title so it looks clean. So we're going to go to this three dots here, go to layout, and then we're going to toggle show database title off. And we got a very clean and functional daily planner. Those are the basics for creating a daily planner with Notion. If you'd like the completed version of this template, we'll leave the link to that in the description below. We also have in our store daily, weekly, monthly planners that are for sale. And we'll also leave those in the links below. And if you have any questions, comments, or anything that was confusing in this video, please let us know. And we hope to see you in the next one.